Okay, another fun project on the farm today. We're going to clean out the chimney elbow for the pellet stove. Uh, of course, my uh, trusty canine's here to help too, just to make sure. Uh, she's not too bad, but when the cats decide to uh, to help, that's that's always a joy. So, get situated here. Got my tools, got my metallic tape. Uh, as you can see, that's uh, where I put the tape on from last time. Get that off of there. Now the reason that, uh, that you need to do this, and you know, you, you could do it once a season, like in the spring or whatever. Um, but I try and if we get a warm day and then it looks like we may have another foot of snow coming next week, then I'll try and try and get this cleaned out. Uh, so that way we don't have to worry about it. Um, in the middle of a blizzard is what will happen. So, so if for whatever reason, um, this would get plugged and, uh, uh, don't ask me how I know this, but if it does get plugged, it reminded me uh, my dad and I were at a cigar bar one time in Minneapolis, and it uh, anything uh, above three foot level, uh, you really couldn't see. Uh, the smoke was that thick. And that will do that in the room where you have the pellet stove if this gets plugged as well which makes it very interesting. So I got the tape off the seams there. Usually like I, the tape is usually the hardest part because it's doing its job, it's sticking on there good. Okay. All right, she's coming loose there. So then we'll take the the screws off at the top of the T here. Got the first one. Second one here coming off. Dog must think I'm taking too long. She's pacing. All right, let's see how easy she wants to slip off today. Too bad oh yeah so as you can see you know it's an eighth of the way up or so and eventually that'll plug but the nice thing is there's raspberries over here and so I can just fertilize the raspberry bushes now this is designed where you could take this bottom plate off uh, but I take the whole thing that way you can get in here Scrape it out good. Get all that soot and caked on mush there off of there. And also, then you can take a look and see how much you're gonna pull out of the actual uh, pipe coming out the back of the the wood, the pellet stuff. So I'll dig this out. You know, I act, I use this pry bar, but I mean, whatever you got that'll work. Get all the big stuff out of the way. And then once I go inside, I will, uh, I'll use the air compressor and I'll blow it out. And, uh, and that'll clean that out really good. Um, but since there's still snow on the ground, it was a little chilly today. 
So I did just turn the inside off a little bit ago. I uh, kind of want to let that cool down because you want to clean these, you know, when you're not burning yourself. If you use a vacuum or whatever, obviously you don't want to melt the vacuum. So there's a, that'll get blown out and I'll just put it back on and tape it back up. And there's the fun project for today. Everybody take care.